Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about luminous and non-luminous objects. We can't see anything when we enter a dark room. But if we light a candle or a lamp, we will be able to see the candle and the lamp as well as the objects in the room. The reason is that the light emitted by the candle or the bulb that enters to our eye. So in here, earlier it is dark, but when the bulb is on, it will emit the light. Because of that light, we can see the things. The objects which can produce their own light are called as luminous objects. These objects have the ability to produce their own light. Here are some examples for luminous objects. The first one is sun. Second one is the stars. Third one is fire. Fourth one is firefly. Fifth one is jellyfish. Sixth one is fleshy fungus. Seventh one is radiant railroad worm. Eighth one is glowing millipede. Those are the objects which will emit the light. In other terms, we can call them as luminous objects. The objects which do not emit the light are known as non-luminous objects. To get a vision of such object, a light ray of a luminous object must fall on it. In here, the pencil is a non-luminous object. So, the light source or the sun will emit the light. So, it is a luminous object. Once it is going to put its light to the pencil. Once it is going to emit its light to the pencil, that light will be reflected to our eye. Then only we can see the non-luminous object. Here, this is the light source or the luminous object. In here, the pencil is the non-luminous object. So, in order to see a non-luminous object, we need the light rays of a luminous object. Some of the non-luminous objects are the moon, the planets, the things which are around us just like pencils, books, cups, clothes. Likewise, those things are non-luminous objects. Those are not having the ability to emit light. We will discuss more about light in our next video. Therefore, subscribe to our EduMart channel.